Hi guys, it's Ruben and it's been a while since I last uh, appeared on video uh, but I wanted to give a quick video update on what we've been working on on the research side. So as you know, we've been preparing for Lelantis version 2 and you know, Lelantis version 2 brings uh, a whole new level of privacy to Firo because amounts are completely hidden. People do not have to redeem their coins to expose the values to, to enjoy privacy and people can pass you know basically transact with each other with no known source with no known amount totally on a private layer and that's what Lelandis version 2 sets out to do so uh, we were looking um, back at the Lelandis version 2 uh, preprint and especially also with the help of Sarang and Aram uh, we identified several uh, things that we do want to improve and um, the first the kind of before I kind of get into that I kind of would like to sort of explain uh, a few concepts that would be helpful in understanding what we've been doing so the first concept is uh, stealth addressing. So Lelantis version 2 does have a private address system. Uh, what it means is that when people pay to it, uh, when you share an address online, people can see that it has received something. It does not know where it came from or doesn't know the source of the funds as well. Uh, it doesn't know the amount and it also does not know when uh, it is spent from. So that's actually already a very high level of privacy, but stealth addressing is one component whereby uh, you wouldn't even know it has received a certain amount. So, so for example, if I share a, a stealth address on uh, you know on a website or something like that, I wouldn't even know someone has made payment to it. Well, from a third party point of view. Now, Lelantis version two doesn't have that. And we've been looking uh, for ways to kind of complete this last piece in the puzzle to kind of really make it a full, uh, you know, fully fledged privacy protocol. Even without it, it does offer a very high level of privacy. But we do think that from a practical point of view to view it on a holistic basis, uh, stealth addressing is a very important component. And this is also why even on the transparent layer, uh, which we, re we already have wrap addresses, which is a form of stealth addressing uh, that works very well and is already live on our main app. So what are the things that we've been looking at in improving the Landers version 2, right? So, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, the paper has been out for a while. Uh, it's gone through audits, uh, both on the code and cryptographic uh, side. But, um, you know, we have identified several things that we really want. So the first thing we want is uh, stealth addressing. Right. The second thing that we want is the ability to have multi-sig. And this is a lot. Uh, what multi-sig means is that, for example, I want to set up an address, uh, you know, where two out of three signatures need to be signed so that the address, uh, that the funds can be released. And this is uh, really important for like custody solutions or like exchanges or like, you know, you're entering into like a business with someone. You just don't want to give one person full control of the keys. That's what multi-sig multi does. And uh, surprisingly, it's not an easy task, um, but it is something that we've been addressing as well. Now, the other thing that is also really important is the balance proof security. So while Lelandis version 2 uses a very novel way to kind of prove balance and what balance means is that, uh, you know, no coins are being created out of thin air, you know, both sides of the inputs and the outputs, outputs equal out. And actually, uh, you know, while no known flaw exists and, you know, intuitively a lot of people feel that it is secure, the existing security proof on the paper uh, does not conclusively prove the security of the balance and it is quite it is quite technical to do so. And uh, so we would say that the existing proof in the preprint is not sufficient. Now there are alternate ways to prove it, which does improve the situation somewhat, uh, but it is still not like, you know, 100%, it doesn't address all concerns. So we can either find a way to improve the security proof, or we can find a way to simplify the protocol so that you know we can prove uh, that the balance security is fine so this is uh, quite technical but i kind of wanted to share like why 
why it's important like although we think it's practically secure although there's been no known flaws uh, it is still always good practice to be able to prove it theoretically so we've been also looking at Triptych, right? So Triptych was uh, is a privacy protocol uh, that was uh, mainly, you know, I guess like you know, uh, pushed by uh, Sarang. Or his name's Aaron, and and uh, he actually came up for of this protocol for Monero, uh, and it was uh, you know partially inspired by Lelantis, uh, which is our our privacy protocol. And Triptych uh, does have a lot of benefits. It does have stealth addressing. It doesn't have the same problems with balance proof uh, due to the way it's structured, the way it segregates uh, uh, the balance uh, computation out. Uh, but multi-sig is still very complex and an open work in progress. And I think the biggest kind of weakness of Triptych versus the Lantus version 2 is that it is two times slower. So it's, you know, it has all this benefit of self addressing as it has, you know, um, you know, a good balance proof, but it is two times slower, both in creating the private transaction and also verifying the private transaction. So what that means in uh, actuality is that if we do deploy even Triptych in, uh, or our version of Triptych in, in Fero, uh, it would mean that we would have to reduce the anonymity set. Uh, which may be worthwhile, but ideally we don't have to, right? So we've been really, really looking hard into ways to solve it. So what uh, you know, Sarang and Aram has been doing is been, you know, there is actually a proof of concept, uh, kind of like timing code for Triptych on Firo's code base, and what that allows us to do is to make sure that. Um, that we are very sure what the performance drawbacks are. And after doing the benchmarks, it is indeed two times uh, slower than the Lantus version 2. Um, now, Aram, on the other hand, has been really working on modifying the Lantus version 2 to support stealth addressing and multi C. And there's actually been several uh, quite promising uh, proposals whereby. Um, we we managed to keep uh, you know a, a lot of the performance benefits of Lelantis version two. We managed to keep stealth addressing, uh, and we also managed to do multi sig. We're not exactly sure if we can continue to maintain on the the work is you know kind of still being vetted and is a work in progress. Uh, but they are very promising uh, pieces of work. So the worst case scenario is that we probably would have some sort of stealth addressing and multi sig, but then the performance would be very similar to triptych. Uh, so it is a very uh, active uh, thing that we have to think about and we have to weigh out like, you know, what exactly uh, do we really want from our privacy protocol? So we've been also looking at another unrelated, well, it's not unrelated, well, it's kind of related piece of uh, work called Seraphis. And this is uh, being worked on by a developer uh, called Koe uh, that used to work for Monero, but now uh, works for mobile coin. And uh, it's very early work is unpublished and it has a very interesting construction that allows a uh, very nice addressing benefits uh, with nice view key support meaning people can you can optionally give someone a view key and people can tell how much you have received and how much has gone out um, even with Monero currently view keys only allow you to see incoming amounts but not outgoing amounts so Seraphis is a quite interesting but it is very early and performance wise there are several ways to deploy Seraphis and Seraphis does you can get Lelantis version 2 type of performance but at the cost of some sort of a reduced security or if you would like to have a better security then you would revert to triptych performance so ideally our ideal use case is that we do manage to modify uh, Lelanda's version 2 Aram is very confident but of course we we'll, we only know once we get there and uh, Aram and Aaron has been really hard at work at this uh, we've been also making sure that you know all the ways that we come up with there are ways to transition our existing Lelantis anonymity set to the new uh, the new mechanism so that's also uh, really exciting so uh, I know this 
talk has been really technical but for those of you who are interested on in what we've been uh, doing uh, especially in terms of on-chain privacy on the Lantus uh, we've been making very good progress in solving in, in really improving what 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 the Lantus version 2 is and uh, making sure that we can get a smooth deployment with very good privacy so that's all I wanted to share today and I'll probably make another update uh, relating to our other development updates so thank you very much and stay safe